This ain't no game. We're diving into some serious territory here. We're talking about powerful tools here, the kind that can crack systems wide open. These aren't your everyday gadgets. These are the real deal. But with great power comes great responsibility. You feel me? This isn't just about what you can do, but what you should do. This information, strictly for learning. It's about expanding your knowledge, understanding the digital world, and protecting yourself and others. For expanding your mind, not your rap sheet. Use this knowledge to build, to innovate, to create solutions, not problems. Don't even think about using this stuff for anything illegal. Bad idea. The consequences are real and severe. Seriously, the feds will be knocking on your door faster than you can say white hat hacker. Law enforcement doesn't play around with cybercrime. Stick to the straight and narrow, all right? Use your skills for good, for ethical hacking, for defending systems, not attacking them. We clear? Good. Remember, the line between right and wrong in this field is thin, but it's crucial. Let's dive into the good stuff. Get ready to learn, to grow, and to become a force for good in the digital world. So you want to be a hacker, huh? Well, you've come to the right place. Whether you're a curious beginner or a seasoned pro, there's always something new to learn in the world of hacking. Welcome to the Ministry of Hacking, your one-stop shop for all things cybersecurity. Here, we dive deep into the art and science of hacking, exploring the latest trends, tools, and techniques that keep the digital world spinning. We got the tools, the techniques, the whole shebang. From penetration testing to network security, from cryptography to social engineering, we've got you covered. Our resources are designed to equip you with the knowledge and skills you need to navigate the complex landscape of cybersecurity. Kali Linux, my friend, that's your weapon of choice. This powerful operating system is packed with hundreds of tools that can help you test the security of your systems. It's like having a Swiss army knife for hackers. It's a playground for ethical hackers, packed with more tools than Walter White's lab. Whether you're looking to crack passwords, analyze network traffic, or exploit vulnerabilities, Kali Linux has got you covered. But remember, this ain't a game. Hacking is a serious business, and with great power comes great responsibility. It's not just about breaking into systems, it's about understanding how they work and how to protect them. It's about understanding how systems work, how to find weaknesses and how to protect them. You'll need to think like a hacker to outsmart one, but always with the goal of making the digital world a safer place. It's about being the guy in the black hat, but fighting for the good guys. Ethical hacking is all about using your skills for the right reasons, to protect and defend against those who would do harm. Ready to learn? Let's cook. Dive into our tutorials, join our community, and start your journey into the fascinating world of hacking. Whether you're here to learn how to protect your own systems or to start a career in cybersecurity, we've got the resources to help you succeed. So roll up your sleeves, fire up your laptop, and let's get to work. The world of hacking awaits. First up, Nmap. Think of it as your trusty map in a dark forest, a network mapper extraordinaire. You wanna know what devices are on a network? Nmap's got you covered. What operating systems they're running, services they're offering, open ports, Nmap spills the beans. It's like having X-ray vision for networks. You can scope out the lay of the land before making your move, essential for any aspiring hacker. But remember, knowledge is power, and power can be dangerous. Use it wisely. Now, let's talk about Metasploit. This bad boy is the real deal. It's a framework packed with exploits, payloads, and all sorts of nasty surprises for vulnerable systems. Think of it as your personal armory. You got your remote access tools, your denial of service weapons, your privilege escalation gadgets. Whatever you need to break in, Metasploit probably has it. But handle with care, yo. This ain't a toy. One wrong move and you could bring down an entire network. Not cool, man. Not cool. Section 5. Wireshark. Eavesdropping with elegance. Ever wanted to listen in on conversations? Don't lie, we've all been there. Well, Wireshark's your tool. It's a network protocol analyzer that lets you capture and analyze network traffic in real time. Think of it as your own personal wiretap. You can see every packet of data that flows across the network, like watching the information superhighway in action. You can use it to troubleshoot network problems, analyze website traffic, or even spy on your neighbor's Wi-Fi. Just kidding, don't do that. Section 6, John the Ripper, Cracking the Code. In the world of cybersecurity, passwords are often the first line of defense. But what happens when that line is breached? Enter John the Ripper, a powerful tool designed to crack passwords and expose vulnerabilities. Passwords, man. They're the bane of our existence. We all know the frustration of forgetting a password or being locked out of an account. It's a universal struggle, and it can feel like an insurmountable obstacle. But fear not, 
John the Ripper is here to crack them wide open. This tool is a cybersecurity professional's best friend, capable of breaking through even the toughest password defenses. It's a password cracking tool that uses brute force and dictionary attacks to guess passwords. Brute force attacks try every possible combination of characters, while dictionary attacks use a list of common passwords and variations. Feed it a list of hashed passwords and let it do its thing. John the Ripper will systematically go through each hash, attempting to match it with a potential password. It'll try every combination of characters until it finds the right one. This process can be time-consuming, but the results are often worth the wait. The tool's efficiency and effectiveness make it a staple in the cybersecurity toolkit. It's like having a safecracker on speed dial. Just as a safecracker meticulously works to open a safe, John the Ripper methodically breaks down password defenses. But remember, use your powers for good, not evil. With great power comes great responsibility. Ethical hacking is about finding and fixing vulnerabilities, not exploiting them. Cracking passwords without permission is a big no-no. Unauthorized access is illegal and unethical. Always ensure you have explicit permission before attempting to crack any passwords. Stay on the right side of the law and use your skills to make the digital world a safer place for everyone. Section 7. Aircrack Eng, your Wi-Fi toolkit. Wi-Fi, the lifeblood of the modern world. But what if I told you it's not as secure as you think? Aircrack Eng is a suite of tools designed to assess the security of Wi-Fi networks. It can capture network packets, crack passwords, and even launch attacks. It's like having a master key to the airwaves. But remember, with great Wi-Fi power comes great responsibility. Don't be that guy who steals everyone's internet. Use your powers for good, yo. Section 8. Burp Suite. Web app, detective, websites, man, they're everywhere. But beneath that shiny surface lurks a world of vulnerabilities. That's where Burp Suite comes in. It's a web application security testing tool that helps you find and exploit weaknesses in web apps. Think of it as your trusty magnifying glass, revealing all the hidden flaws and security holes. You can use it to test for SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and a whole host of other nasty vulnerabilities. It's like having a security audit in a box. Section 9. Social Engineering Toolkit, SET. The art of deception, humans, man, the weakest link in the security chain. And that's where the Social Engineering Toolkit, SET, comes in. It's a framework designed to trick people into giving up sensitive information. Think phishing emails, fake websites, the works. It's all about exploiting human psychology to gain access to systems. It's a powerful tool, but use it responsibly. Remember, with great deception comes great responsibility. Don't be a jerk, yo. Section 10, Hydra, brute forcing your way in. Sometimes you gotta go in guns blazing, that's where Hydra comes in. It's a password cracking tool that uses brute force to try every possible combination of characters until it finds the right one. It's like having a battering ram for your computer. It can be used to crack passwords for websites, SSH, FTP, and more. But remember, brute force is a last resort. It's noisy, it's time consuming, and it can raise red flags. Use it wisely, my friend. Section 11, Ethical Hacking, The Right Path. So, there you have it, a glimpse into the world of hacking tools, but remember, these tools are just that, tools, they can be used for good or evil. It's up to you to choose the right path, the path of the ethical hacker, the white hat, the good guy. Use your knowledge to make the world a safer place, one hack at a time, and remember, stay out of my territory, peace out.